Triple E EDC here, back again with another knife video. This is the PM2, the Knifeworks exclusive version, and this video is about why I am selling this knife. Actually, I'm trading this knife. It's not so much about why I'm trading this more than what I'm trading it for. I happen to really like the Benchmade 940. Some of you may have seen in the videos, I have a Benchmade 943, 940-1, and 940-1802, the DLC, I think it's 940 DLC-1802. This is the Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive. And so I have quite a few of them. I know other people have more. Well, I decided I needed one more and I saw one for, up for trade that had one of the scales made by, I don't know if it was Death of All Things or Eric Shepard or one of those guys, but uh, it's the Blue Twill Carbon Fiber. Uh, it looks excellent. I believe it's the original S30V 940 blade that's on there. Uh, not one of the upgraded models, but that's just, it, it, it's a good looking combo. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys on the unboxing. But uh, that's really the main reason I'm trading this. And there's really one other reason I'm trading this. As much as I like M4, and I really, I have a lot of M4 knives. Got my... Blade HQ exclusives, Yojimbo, and Manix. And as much as I like my M4 in my Freak, Benchmade Freak, and I believe I have a couple other M4 knives as well. As much as I like them, no, oh, I forgot my new Griptilian, also an M4. But as much as I like these, I decided I needed to trade this one because there is there are some other PM2s and 20CV and possibly even crew wear that I may be able to get and put some scales on. I really want some copper scales for either the Manix or the PM2. I think I may do the PM2 and either copper or micarta and then do the Manix in whichever one that I don't do on the PM2. So I'll be getting a different PM2 to do that with. I just felt like it was a waste to have carbon fiber scales on here and to take those off. It's just a bad way to deal with the value of this, of these scales. So even though the steel is great, the value, I'd be losing the value of the scales by removing the carbon fiber scales. So that's really the main reason I'm, I'm getting rid of this. I don't carry it as much as some of the other knives that I have. I really do like the uh, the feel of this. This is the ergonomics on this are fantastic, but there is one other knife that I carry more than this because I like the ergonomics even better, and that is Manix, Manix 2. And I have quite a few of these. Let me move the PM2 out of the picture for a minute, show you guys. I've got three of these, and I've got one more on the way. So this is the crew wear and carbon fiber. This is the red G10 and 20 CV. This is the JG10 and M4, coated M4 from Blade HQ. So I find myself carrying the Manix for the ergonomics a lot more <clears throat> than I do the PM2. And so it just made sense that if I'm going to, to do the PM2, I wanted to do a special one that is different from anything that really is on the market, which means that I'm going to do uh, scales, custom scales, maybe even custom screws at some point. Uh, and I may or may not do a lanyard plug when the ones from Flytanium come out. So that's sort of what I'm thinking about doing here, and that's why I'm getting rid of it. It's mainly a combination of two things. Number one, I don't carry this nearly as much as I carry this, uh, and I just love my 940s. And the other big reason is that if I were to change the scales on this, which I want to do to the PM2, I just feel like it would be a waste to have carbon fiber scales sitting around collecting dust. I could potentially resell them, but I just don't feel like I want to do that. And so this is going to get traded. That's pretty much it, guys, for, for that video. I mean, I, there's not a lot of bad things I can say about the PM2. Uh, it is really a fantastic knife. There is one other, I, I should say there is one other reason I prefer the, the Manix to the PM2, and that is the handle length. 
I mean, this is a lot of handle for this much blade. These blades are almost even, and the PM2 has a much longer handle. So I find that even though the Manix is a little wider in the pocket, that it just carries better. It's less of a hassle. It sits better as far as how much is sticking out of the pocket. I know I can buy the a Lynch clip or one of these other thing, one of these other style clips, MXG. But uh, and that probably is something I'm going to do to the PM2 at some point um, once I get my customized version. But on uh, on this version, yeah, I'm, I'm going to let it go. So I hope that explains what I, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment on the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching.